And it is equipped. Sweet. Alright, well, in the event that I need her, she's all pimped out and ready. Everyone's getting fancy new things. Except Carl. And you might be like, oh, well, fucking Ruben didn't get a fancy new thing. Yeah, but he's already got, like, a ridiculously powerful weapon. I think he's fine. Looking for Steve's. Not seeing any, and I already have the King's Slate, so fuck off. Can't get up there. I don't know how to get up there. So I'll just pop open these chests, thinking one of them is the key. There's two Steve's in there. And, oh, fuck yeah. I'll pop that on this sword once it gets its full abs, since that's almost about to happen. This has been a good dungeon exploring day, you know? I'm liking this dungeon exploring day. Good and solid. Alright, so what do I need to get through this door? Ruben? Nope. I need this thing. Did I find this thing? I must have. I popped open all the chests. Yeah, there you are. All right, sweet. Get my hands on those steves. Ooh, and there's a big chest. Ah, the lore of the big chest. Zabo's house. Yeah, well, there it is. Ah, it's a damn mimic. You know what? Screw you. Ah, on the other hand, the abs. Yeah, oh, alrighty. Nice. I'm gonna hang out in the water. Oh, hey, Blue Dragon, what's up? I'm just gonna hang out in the water here. Why? Pop some repair powder. Organize my shit. And okay. Uh, upgrade. Nice. Alright, what can I add to you? Uh, magic's probably good. Uh, uses thunder, so... I don't need to have those anymore for uh, Fred's things, since they all have base stats for those. Uh, Stonebreaker's always good. And they're giving me a lot of undead busters, so I'm probably just gonna equip that. And I'm gonna upgrade it. And I get to customize it again! With another undead thing. Oh, magic's maxed. That's a lot of damage. Uh, uh, go Sky Hunter, because I have a feeling. And another undead. Righto, get that Steve, and I can get out of here. Odds and ends. I think that'll be the entire town at this point. I have Zabo's house, and I have Zabo. We've got the chief. We've got everything Enga needs. I'm gonna bet we're done here. And let's use that bad boy. Leave dungeon. I felt like it was a lot quicker than Queen's. And I don't know why. Maybe it was, who knows. But I feel like I'm done with this town, and that... If I'm not, I'm, like, really extremely close to done with this town. Okay. So... Let me, let me check. Yeah, no, I've collected everything in this town. Uh, start off with the Chief's house, which needs the Chief. Actually, since the Chief's probably where I need to go, we'll do him last. Do Zabo's house. Uh, okay. Sorry, Zabo, you're gonna live on the outskirts. 
I have no more road I can give. I don't think, anyways. Uh, nope, no more road. Yeah, well, it's a good, good, good life that road had. Anyways, what is it? Boy with gentle heart. Okay. You get your hay, and you get your odds and ends. And no doubt you're going to want a totem. It looks like you're going to want your damn roof, too. Uh, before I visit you, let's start by knocking out that. Yeah. So we can go to Egna's house, get our event, and then go to Zavo's house. Where he'll tell me the shit he wants, and then I can give him the Hey, it's you, young one. Thank you for what you did. This is for you. I hope you take good care of it. Fuck me. A buster sword. This is my old sword, but it still works just fine. Back in my day, I was darn good with the thing. My day as chief, I was amazing. Yeah. Ow, oh, he is catching up. Sorry, I lied a bit. I was never really strong, even when I was young. Just when I thought I would become chief, Bonka snapped up the position. I wasn't meant to be chief. But Bonka, she really was something. She defeated every war in the village. Shit, good on her. She was only in her teens when she defeated me and became teen. Chief. She was such a beautiful girl, like a fighting goddess. Whoops, what am I saying? Forget I just said that. Also, I'm old as shit. But I have to end it here today? I have a backache, something fierce, so on. By end it, you mean the conversation, right? And not your life? I almost forgot. You fixed my house, so why don't you use this house? Ah, there we go. Just let me... I thought I saw a chest. Okay, I did. Store items. Yeah, whoop, whoops. Let me get rid of this bad boy. And can I get rid of you? Ooh, I can! Fuck these things, then. What are you? A man? Yeah, fuck that. I don't need you. Uh, sweet. Laters. So I gotta check out this Buster Sword now, too. Uh, weapons. It's not gonna be better than the Sun Sword, because of all the buffing up I did. Um, I don't think that base stats were much better. Double-edged powerful sword. I don't think... The endurance and the speed might have been better, but I don't think the attack's better. I might... might use it. I prefer to stick with the sun sword, though. Just got this thing, after all. Anyways, uh, config and assemble. Oh, right, I need to talk to Zabo. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, you, you're a newbie. I don't recommend becoming a warrior here. Huh, you don't disagree? Hmm, well, anyways, I'm Zabo. Good to meet you. Uh, any requests? Nope. On to the pole guardian. Yeah, I figured. What do you need? I want to have shade made of hay. And I need tote. I love that pole guardian. Alright, easy enough. Hey, I see that treasure chest up there. Can't hide from me. Metal breaker. Oh, would have been useful a bit earlier. Yeah. Anyways, uh, configure. Where is it? Okay. There we go. Awesome. Mumble, mumble. Hey, chest. Oh, it's you. Thanks to you, my house is back to the way it was. Thanks, man. How about this view, huh? Man, I just love the view from here. Soothes your mind. From the beginning, I was never really a warrior. I'm better at kicking back and relaxing than fighting. I like this guy. But the desert people are a warrior tribe born in the wrong place, I guess. Just over this desert. Everyone thinks they've been born in the wrong place at some point. Live the other tribe of desert people. Scorpion warriors. They are us sand warriors' mortal enemy. So are they all dead because of that genie business? We've been fighting each other for hundreds of years. Our tribes have the same origin, so I wonder why we keep fighting. People are weird like that. I got carried away. Sorry about that. Please accept this for fixing my house. Thanks! Treasure it always. You better fetch a decent price for goddamn fire. There you go. Wind there, okay. Uh offload some shit on this guy. Probably buy a few more repair powders for good measure, and then I can set up the chief. Okay, few of you. You, did you, did you, did you, and alright. 
Tons of free space. Nice. Looking spiffy, okay. Now we set up the chief. Whoops, wrong button, okay. And here we go, chief's house. Which again, I still think should be this. Like, you know, oh wait, this is Carl's house, isn't it? Yeah, this is totally Carl's house. I would have thought, Fruit of Eden, nice, glad I came in here. I would have thought this is the chief's house because it's at the top of the village and all that, but nah, it's just Carl's house. My bad. Alright, who's getting this fruit? Uh, I think everyone except Noki and I is at 130. So, I guess... Who has the shittiest defense? You, alright. Would have given it to Ruben for consistency's sake, but he has more defense than her, so... Now they can take the same amount of hits, more or less. Hopefully. I don't know. Anyway, what's up, Chief? It's the first time I'm meeting... Damn. Got a lot of chests. I'll be looting your place after we're done here. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a cough. Nice stone sofa. Is that comfy? Take a nap. Could you come back later tonight? Really? All right. So how's your week been? Mine's been all right. Got drunk playing Crystal Cities. Ah, there we go. Night. Well, that was easy. Hopefully that's all she the time she needed. Good. Layabout. Dilute your place. You seem to be sneaking around everywhere lately. No. Who are you? What? You want to take the moon ship from the temple? Whose permission do you have to do such a thing? The moon people. Theo, I think his name was. The temple is a sacred place that we, the desert people, and the moon people have maintained together. A very noble king named Steve, Dave, Dave, rests there. That's what I'm going to have to fight. I can't give it, can't give a signet to just anybody. Best come back some other time. What? Chief. Thanks, Carl. Again, you're turning out to be very useful. Easily my favorite so far. Chief, my butt is someone we can trust. He saved Makara and others. My butt can defeat the Jarktini. How did you not know that? Also, I have the moon people's permission. Pretty sure Theo told you that. Was well, that so? Well, since it's coming from Carl, I have no doubt. Well, where shall I start? First, how to conquer the sun and moon temple. I mean, I'm pretty much done. Listen carefully. To reach the last room where the moonship is stored, I must enter through the king's room. Okay. To the king's room, I need two signets. Yeah, the moon people told me that. One is handed down by chiefs of Muskalaka. The other is the moon signet. The moon people who maintain the trine are supposed to have it, but that's not the case anymore. The lazy moon people entrusted the moon signet to us so they could relax in the woods. So give it here. I mean, the two signets are both here in Muskalaka. Unfortunately, they aren't here. You know, when you said meaning they're here, and then followed it up with unfortunately they aren't here, that's called lying. One of those statements is false. Zabo and Egna each have one. Okay. I'll tell you... I'll, oh, they aren't here as in your house. I'll tell them about you so you can get the sides from them anyways. Good luck. And of course, Zabo and Egna are the people on the last floors. Oh, wait a minute. A boy in a green hat. Say, those are eyes of yours. You have beautiful eyes. Knew another man with the same sparkling eyes. Yeah, I hear my dad was around here. When I was young, the only man who could beat me. He was handsome, but that was more than 20 years ago. How about here, going on and on. Young man, be strong like he was. Why did he name his son my butt? Pocket. Oh, thank Christ. I'm going to use that immediately. Always, always pockets. Whoops. Yay, I can carry ten more items now. Dino Slayer. Yeah, probably be useful. Premium Chicken. Always useful. Always nice. Is that a nose on the wall? That was weird. Egna and Zabo. Why the hell did you give it to them? Egna, okay, he was a former chief. You know what? No, first of all, you should have it. You're the fucking chief. 
You should have one of them. If Agna has the other one, that kind of makes sense, because he's a former chief. But Zabo? Dude's lazy as shit. That was fast. I heard from Bonka. Here. Sun Signet, sweet. Be re but really, Bonka, trusting ass are like you. I wonder what she's up to. Hmm? Hmm? What? The fuck do you want? Now I know, you look exactly the same as... Yeah, I'm sure, you'll even be able to stand up to the genie. Good luck to you. I get it, my father's awesome. I have a lot to live up to. And... Zabo's place. Nice item. There you are, heard from the chief. There's a moon signet, don't lose it. Again, why do you have it? Sun Moon Temple's dangerous lately, so be careful. I know. Mimic. Premium chicken. Power-up powder. Isn't that the thing that I like that lets me level up? Yeah, it is. Hmm. I'll be damned. Guess what, Sun Sword? You're getting another upgrade. Now it's a Sun Sword plus... Ah, I might probably should be used on the Buster Sword. Yeah, well. Say la vie. Alright, so, sounds like we're all set to fucking, uh, have me yelling at a boss fight. For the next episode. That'll be great. Uh, I'll take a look at the boss. I'll save the game right here, and then I'll go take a look at the boss. That'll be the last couple minutes of this episode. Nice. Okay. Alrighty. It's totally going to be the king. I mean, the boss is obviously going to kill me. I need to do fucking Carl's thing. And I don't have any weapons for him. Nobody sold me fancy new weapons and I didn't pick up a nice new staff. Everyone else got a cool new weapon. Except Ruben, but his weapon's already cool. Can I save here? Yeah, it's way easier. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, dungeon 79 times. I've been crawling through this dungeon. Sun and Moon Temple. Alright. Alright, Coffin Chambers. I have to enter through the King's Place? You got your stupid Signet. Got the stupid sun sword. Ah, okay. Probably. Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay, okay. Let's see this fancy boss. Ooh, giant eye. Dramatic music. What could it all mean? Yeah. <laughs> Fair response, I suppose. It'd be nice if, like, the moon people could come with me to explain the situation. Whoever disturbs my sleep shall be punished by death. Nice to meet you, too. Alright, I'm gonna guess I have to blow away his schmutz and then... King's Curse. My butt. Oh, nice of you to show up. The ancient king's spirit is possessed by Dark Genie. Can you defeat him? Fucking... You haven't been in the game for, like, ever. Alright, I'm... Again, I don't want to beat him right now, but... Ah! I do want to confirm... Jesus Christ, that dude moves quick. I do want to confirm the theory that just, like... Ow. Cannot exchange the equipment weapon. Ow! Fuck off, bro. Bro, you gotta fuck off. Bro, you gotta fuck off. This 
This is a bit infuriating, because I need enough space in order to actually set up the spinny thing, and of course he's not giving it to me. And the camera's too much of an asshole for me to really... The camera never wants to look behind me while I run away. That's the best I can do. I can get, like, a side view. I can kind of trick it like that. Anyways. Well, there we go. Got rid of it, and now I equip you. That is exactly what I do. Okay. Alright, I hit pause. Okay. So when we come back next time, I'll fight him properly, since I know what to do. Hopefully with less being chased around the room like that. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Token Lad. Talk to you later, shrewd negotiator, see round ass clouds. Check out my Patreon if you feel like supporting me. Every little bit helps.